which I'm cool with. Yeah. That's your view. You know how I feel about that. If that's the way you view that, then that you can have your view and yeah. nobody should attack you on that view. That's right. the thing I don't like about the left side. It's just like the way they attack people. Like, well, if you don't believe in it, you must be this. It's like, no, we accept your opinion or your uh, ideologies. You should accept other people's ideologies. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. they took that woman out of something that she created this. And then they took mm -hmm. her right out of that because of something that she believes. Yeah. Like, you, that's that's the that's the part I don't like. Is that if she believes that, you should allow her to believe that. Just like yeah. we allow other people to believe whatever they want to believe. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we know people that throw stuff in the ocean to feed guys and stuff. Yeah. I don't see that as weird. I see that as that's your I don't, thing. I don't think that's problematic. Unless the person that it becomes believes, hate, that's yeah, what that's, that's when hate yeah. or like starts doing something that may be considered problematic. Which I think for her, like I think for her, like I don't really in terms of like hate. I don't think she. I don't think that was don't, that wasn't the case. Though. But some of the stuff, like if you read what she says, it is echoing like talking points that people who actually do not mess with transgender mm -hmm. people we use. Yeah, use which I don't think she may have like done that purposely yeah. but she she was still doing it people yeah. was like well you just echo in such and such and i think it's the people that she following and co-sign that really make her look i bad. think also yeah 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 because yeah. like i think lady name is uh maya forrester like people mm -hmm. like her and janice raymond or whatever they mm -hmm. like like they can we can erase them like trans yeah. trans people can like be erased and when you like i think when you defend people like that that makes it look bad yeah but to like give you more insight basically his a lot of streamers and a lot of uh, a lot of streamers and people who bought the game in general are like having being, problems. Are having problems because people are basically attacking them, threatening like, them, uh, being like boycotting them, saying yeah. they hate or they are transforming for buying the game because they feel like uh, J.K. Rowling is getting royalties because of. And by the way, I'm okay with her getting royalties yeah. because she created it. She created it. She she if if I create something, I don't care what the viewpoint is. If I created it and people are buying it and it's people mine. Are, everybody, it's, it's mine. You I don't care. Pay me, boy. You got to pay me, man. But I'm not even sure she's going to receive royalties. And that's a, that, that was the other thing. I'm glad you brought it up because yeah. the other thing I felt like it's like how do we know if if she's going to receive royalties anyway? Yeah. I know she got paid up front because yeah, they got to pay her to use the license yeah, of course. for her yeah. IP or whatever. But I don't know if she's going to continually get paid. But I also think that kind of doesn't matter because either way, I think it's going to benefit that brand and may bring her money uh, at another point. Yeah. For instance, like if nobody bought this game, it would suck for that particular uh, software company, that game development company, because, you know, that game would tank and they was kind of betting on this to like, put them over the edge. But at the same time, if nobody buys a game, then people lose faith in like the Harry Potter name. Unless yeah, she unless get paid royalties. She get paid royalties? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, she's gonna get paid royalties. I mean, well, I mean that's I'm what okay it, with that again. But like I was saying, either way it's gonna even if she didn't or she did, it will still bring her money in the end because the less people buy Harry Potter stuff, the less demand there is for Harry Potter, which will affect their pockets in the end. But people don't seem to care right now because that game is selling, selling I don't get the Very well. I don't get the notion of this man, like right. because like Atlanta is having Atlanta. I'm I'm thinking about taking my wife there. Yeah. Uh, Atlanta has a uh Harry Potter uh like exhibit. Yeah. If I take her, am I transphobic? If I take her to the Disney World or uh, Harry Potter World, am I transphobic? If I buy her the book, if I watch the show, I mean the movies, if I do anything that hasn't, yeah. am I transphobic? Why is it this just this just this game that makes it transphobic? Trans makes makes you or and here's what I find interesting because I'm trying to find the line of that myself. The the whole crux of this argument is like does supporting a product equal support for a person in their beliefs? It doesn't. <laughs> and then cause with that you gotta you got cause you gotta balance because I don't I don't think just because I buy a product I automatically believe their beliefs mm -hmm. are. Depending on what the product with, is. Yeah, product is or like what, how they feel about it. But to a certain degree, we all vote with our dollars. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's so, a fact. so we all That's a good point. we all participate in that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, at what what point do we, or do we take responsibility, or do we just recognize our hypocrisy? We don't. We don't do neither one. <laughs> we, we don't do neither yeah. one. We not. We'll never get to that point because that none of that. Like when I was, when I've seen people mad about it, 
like this is the same thing with the uh, Mr. Beast thing. Yeah. It's just like I get to the point where oh y'all just want to be mad. Y'all yeah. looking for something to fight. It's, it go back to that thing where everybody want to be oppressed. Everybody want to fight against something yeah. where there's nothing to fight about. Mm-hmm. You ever seen Fight Club? Yeah. And the scene where he said we fight, we in a generation where there's no real wars and nothing like that. We fight the mental uh, war. We yeah. fight that aspect. And that's what people are c- consistently fighting because you're just looking for something to fight against. Mm-hmm. You don't say nothing with your iPhone, your shoes, the clothes you buy from the guy that we all yeah. know come from someplace or someplace that we know or, or, or feel like is unethical. Yeah. We we have things in our room and our daily lives that we know is unethical. Any Basically, anything that's mass produced is hard to find something that's made ethical. Yeah, that's you a fact. Because, for example, to give you a concrete example, the lithium batteries in like this phone, his phone, oh, my, yeah, my yeah, Mac yeah, Contain cobalt that's mined from kids in Congo. So if you can send a tweet that bashes somebody with playing this game, you have to recognize if you can find a way to separate your uh, purchasing your phone mm-hmm. because you find it handy or useful for you, then mm-hmm. you should be able to understand why somebody who has grown up admiring this world of Harry Potter, mm-hmm. why they would want to participate that and be able to separate that I don't, I don't from it, bro. J.K. Rowling and her beliefs. If you can do that with your phone and all the products that you use every day, then you should be able to understand that people who just want to participate in this world don't, you know, agree yeah. with this woman and her beliefs. And if they do, so what? Is yeah. they money? Yeah. Is they money? You can't just keep bullying people because you feel something... Because the way you feel, you have to understand, like, the way I feel about something does not go to everybody else. It's not universal. Yeah. Just because I believe this doesn't mean everybody should believe this and I should condemn people who don't believe this. That's yeah. the problem, especially with the left. Mm-hmm. They'll do stuff like that. They'll bully you into, like, submitting to their will. They'll try yeah. to counsel you, take your money, and do all this other stuff while also being in the midst of doing hypocrisy. 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 And it's and it's that weird. It's you know we just in this weird space of like it's hard to like exist without participating in that system. You know, I think I mean I think there's a I think like we were saying I think there's a clear distinction between direct support and indirect support. Like what mm-hmm. a lot of us do when we purchase these products is basically indirect indirect support of Apple. Like saying it's okay for Apple to you know take advantage of child labor. It's basically mm-hmm. what we we doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I also want to note that. A lot of trans people are, are playing this game, and that's not like to point out more hypocrisy. That's also to recognize that a lot of voices we hear are a lot of times or the extreme voices or the people that the are trolling. This is the loudest, bro. Yeah, or, and people that are trying to prop themselves up as a moral authority or like make themselves figureheads of these movements mm-hmm. that'll be like it's like it's people that's not even trans that'll stand up just so they can be like I'm the moral police. Yeah, um, let me get some spotlight yeah. off of this. So I want to make I want to make sure like. People don't hear this and be like, oh, trans people bugging out again. No, you know, no, 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 no. It's like it's people People do that with all movements. If, you know, people point to like Al Sharpton whenever some black Man. black event happened, they like, well, you know what I'm saying? The blacks are at it again. No, oh, that's Al Sharpton. That's bro. Al Sharpton out there I, 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 marching or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's like, no, nah, I, I don't. That's that's a, it just doesn't make sense on how you mad at this, but not all the other things. Yeah. Now you mad at the movies? You ain't mad at the fact that they got together and did like a reunion? Are you mad at the fact that they have these here? Are you boycotting Harry Potter World? Are you outside of Harry Potter getting mad and calling people transforming for going to Harry Potter World? Like what? What are you doing? Like yeah. is it, how how far do your hate or your dislike or your beliefs extend? Is it only to the game because it's new and it's yeah. in your face and it's doing well? And then on top of that, because you're doing this, because y'all are making so much noise, it makes people want to buy. I didn't even know nothing about this game yeah. until I heard that people was mad about it. Mm-hmm. I said, "Oh, it'd be nice Free to get my wife. It, it, it'd be nice to get my wife this." Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even know to buy this or to get this. Mm-hmm. If it wasn't for them making so much noise about it, yeah. So you, in in return, the numbers uh, apparently the numbers look numbers great. Numbers are going up. Numbers are going up because y'all have caused so much attention to it. Mm-hmm. So you, what is your true intention? Yeah, <laughs> I don't I don't think that was a strategic plan involved with that because that's got, that's a delicate balance between giving exposure and which is interesting because you know Max Friedman. Thank you for taking the time to watch this clip. If you want to see the full video, make sure you subscribe to us on patreon.com slash mind the gap pod. You also get extended episodes, exclusive content, and more. The link is in the description.